Hello everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be doing a full review on the Odin Nova 65. This is Odin Gaming's first keyboard and for a first attempt I honestly have to say that this thing is rock solid. This thing does a lot of things differently that I have not seen in other keyboards to give you something that is a little bit more unique. It's not perfect but for right now, honestly speaking for the price, I really have no idea what else you would get that would be extremely similar because quite frankly, it just does not exist. At least not yet, I'm sure it will come in time, but for right now, if you're in the market for a keyboard, this may be one of your best options at a very reasonable $160. But before we talk about the Nova 65, this is one of the many different desks that you can check out from FlexiSpot, the sponsor of today's video. I really enjoy using FlexiSpot's products because there are so many options to choose from as as far as form factor and style to fit your lifestyle at very affordable prices with top tier quality. Currently, FlexiSpot is offering huge savings on quite a few of their office and motorized desk products with the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale running through the month of November, so you have plenty of options to view at the link in the description below. You can save $70 off of their flagship affordable desk, the E9, or you can go with one of their many options as a part of their Black Friday Cyber Monday deals. I personally went with the DIY route earlier this year when I purchased my desk from them, just to give it a little bit of a different aesthetic with this nice marble top and there are a ton of other options that are available starting at just $79 to pair with a motorized stand if you want to switch up the aesthetic and make it more unique to you. They use a dual motor system so the operation is quick and very quiet not to mention that they can operate large desks as well and support a ton of weight. And one of the best parts about FlexiSpot is that they also save you time as well by shortening the installation method by making it a lot easier and also making it much faster as well so there's a lot less things that you have to piece together once your new desk arrives. FlexiSpot has some incredible deals going on on their website for the holidays, so be sure to browse some new office gear at the link in the description below. And thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring a portion of this video. And you also see some other footage of me using this desk for B-roll because I just love the look of this marble top. I thought you guys would too because it just offers such a unique aesthetic. But here are just some of the other tops that they have available that you can check out as well. I know you guys have seen that FlexiSpot desk a million times in B-roll shots. You probably didn't know that's what it was, but just wanted to let you guys know. Anyway, Anyways, back to the Nova 65. So this keyboard from a company that has never made a keyboard before, this is a really good attempt. And this is made for the person that is sick of, you know, Corsair or Razer keyboard or really anything else, even if you have a KBD 67 Lite like I did, but you just want something that has maybe a similar sound signature and a lot better build quality using, you know, aluminum and metal and whatnot. Because uh, don't get me wrong, the KBD 67 Lite, it sounds fantastic. It's especially for what it is. And is it a reasonable price for what it is? Yes, but for not that much more, I can get a metal keyboard made out of aluminum with a polycarbonate back, and I'll explain that in a second. But I can get basically a keyboard that has the feel and appearance of cold metal instead of plastic. And don't get me wrong, plastic keyboards are great, but honestly speaking, I've had more than a few plastic keyboards that I review, but just personally bought and used for my own custom keyboards, they're just not nearly as appealing as a solid aluminum build. And that's what you get with the Nova 65. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, is the case perfect? No, I do have a couple of complaints that I hope Odin is gonna address pretty soon. The only complaint that I have about the outside of the case is the fact that this little USB port is a little bit too big and I kind of understand why they did it because they knew that this portion was gonna be moving, but I would like to see this little gasket hidden a little bit more and the hole where the USB port goes shrunk down a little bit as well. If this was about, I don't know, 20, 25% smaller, I think we would be in business and I really wouldn't have anything to complain about. Otherwise, uh, build quality wise, exterior wise, I don't really have any issues. This polycarbonate piece I do like quite a bit because what the polycarbonate on the bottom does for you, typically if you have an all aluminum keyboard, you basically have to load up the entire board with foam to avoid pinging. But this board stock without any mods, no tape mods, no polyfill, no nothing, sounds really good stock. 
and it surprisingly has little to no echo at all. And that's because instead of using an all aluminum construction, having that polycarbonate bottom gives you the sound signature that we really like from polycarbonate cases like the KVD67 Lite, like the Icky 68 Roar. With those full polycarbonate cases, there really is not a lot of pinging, even if you don't have the bottom foam or if you use a very thin bottom foam. But with this, you can get away with not having any and still enjoy the aluminum construction. Here's a quick sound test so you guys can hear exactly what I mean. And you guys heard that sound test yourself. You can't lie, it sounds really good, especially for not having any mods done to it at all. And we will be trying this in addition to the foam that is sandwiched between the plate and the PCB. Now in that sound test, I just used the aluminum plate with some Gateron black inks that are lubed with Tribosis 3203. So the black inks were a little bit more clacky, but I did also just get a couple more black inks in to test with Crytox. And I also did get the box black inks in as well. And we will be trying those out. If you are interested in looking at a full review of the black inks versus the box black inks then be sure to check out my second channel tech kyle where i'm pretty much only going to be reviewing keyboard specific stuff like switches some mods and stuff like that but honestly using the aluminum plate that is included with the nova 65 and also the duroc v2 stabilizers that are included with this keyboard that you don't have to buy that are 22 dollars plus shipping from literally anywhere else that is absolutely huge for a keyboard for 169 dollars and really all you have to do is lube those stabilizers which is very easy to to do you can do it without removing them but it's not hard to remove the stabilizer throw some 205 grazer on there and lube them up because that's really all you need i did not use stab pads no holy modding no nothing just 205 grade zero and you guys let me know how the staff sounded in the comment section below Now you can get a polycarbonate plate for an additional $25, which I don't think is a bad price for this extremely flexible polycarbonate plate. And this will add even further to the gasket mount that is built into this keyboard. One thing that is really surprising about this board that for the price, you get a true gasket mount keyboard that actually moves. Like this keyboard moves quite a bit. The gaskets are very thick and you do get a ton of travel. And it is a little bit tricky to fit the PCB into the hole where the USB is, but be sure to check out my build stream of the Nova 60 where I'll be showing you guys exactly how to build this keyboard, including lubing the stabilizers from start to finish. So be sure to tune into that this weekend and I will be posting those highlights on YouTube as well. But you get a true gasket mount with this keyboard and it is very good. And if you want even more flex, you can also use the polycarbonate plate that is available for $25 if you want more flex and more clack. Don't worry, I will have sound tests of that going up very soon. And don't worry, I will be doing a sound test with the polycarbonate plate and the Gateron black inks as well. So you guys can do a one-to-one -one comparison to see, do you prefer the sound of the aluminum plate or the polycarbonate plate. Be on the lookout for that within the next week or so. Now this keyboard obviously does support full perky RGB lighting. It does use VIA to configure the software as well. So you can go in VIA and change over all the lighting things to whatever you would like. And you can also set up any of the custom keys and layers inside of VIA as well. It is extremely easy. And you can also change the underglow that this keyboard features, which is another reason why this board has the polycarbonate bottom is so that you can show the underglow. But my my biggest gripe is just the fact that the underglow is not as bright as I would like it to be. Even with the room being like really dark, you can kind of see it, but I definitely think that it will help by having another RGB at the bottom of the keyboard and also increasing like the power of the PCB or whatever to shine the lights a little bit brighter. Again, I could really care less about the top RGB just because most of the keycaps that you're going to use are probably going to have uh, double shot legends or die sub legends. So it's not going to matter because the keycaps that you're going to use probably aren't aren't shine through, maybe putting if you're still into those, but probably aren't gonna be shine through keycaps. And not to mention that the RGBs are south facing anyway, so it really doesn't matter because you're not gonna use shine through keycaps on this keyboard 99% of the time. So for the next version of the Nova, I would love to see much brighter RGB for the underglow. But even if I don't use the RGB underglow and I'm just using the polycarbonate plate on the bottom, strictly for acoustic purposes, it at least serves that need and it sounds really good. Now moving 
moving on to the keycaps. I think that the keycap quality is really good. I did compare this to uh, an Infinity set that I have. And the only thing that I noticed was that the Primary Legends, the font was a little bit bigger. But honestly speaking, for 50 bucks, I don't think that the keycaps are bad quality. They are indeed die sub PVT. The Legends are printed really nice. And maybe in the future, the Legends could be a bit bolder as well. But honestly speaking, for the price, I don't think that these are bad. All of the mods are really good as well. And you even get this little Odin Gaming novelty if you want to rep the company that I think did a stellar job on this keyboard. If you guys are wondering where I got these two rose gold brass keycaps, these are actually from Thok.Design. They just changed their site. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But they also made, they sent me out this cable as well as a couple of other metal keycaps. And then I actually bought uh, this escape key or delete key as I typically use it for and this enter key as well and honestly speaking the quality is extremely good like I just love looking at it it looks fantastic and I thought that it was a perfect fit for like a really clean white and rose gold build that I honestly just love the aesthetic on the Nova 65 it just looks really clean together and it is something that might be a little bit more premium that takes your keyboard to the next level now that we've talked about the Nova 65 let's talk about the accessories the keycaps like I said those are pretty good especially for the price if you're looking for something than basic just to get you started obviously it's not gmk quality but eh, you know it's doable especially for 50 bucks the polycarbonate plate if you're looking for a clackier sound and a little bit more flex in your typing experience you'll definitely want to go with the polycarbonate plate for that extra 25 bucks but one thing that i do want to mention to you the aluminum plate is a lot easier to use the hot swap functionality without entirely tearing apart the keyboard you don't have to disassemble it to use the hot swap functionality on the aluminum board but if you're going to use the polycarbonate i would pass on using these standoffs but i would go ahead and take apart the keyboard and hold the pcb and the plate and just put in all your switches before you set it back into the case just because your experience doing that is going to be a lot better i know it is a bit more time consuming especially because on the first run of these the screws on the top are a bit long and hopefully they will fix that as well but other than that i mean you just get a wild stick i got one it's like i don't know 40 bucks or 30 bucks i'll leave a link to it in the description below but hopefully if you're using the aluminum plate you don't have to worry about it and if you use the polycarbonate maybe not hot swap your switches so much but i don't know i i love doing it i'm sorry and yeah it would be nice but this thing is just super flexible and it's really not feasible especially when the gasket works so well and the keyboard moves quite a bit moving on from the polycarbonate plate let's go ahead and talk about these wrist rests so we've got this pink wrist rest here it does have like a cooling memory foam type gel somewhere in here and i can definitely feel it like it's definitely very squishy and cool to the touch and i was gaming with it on stream a couple days ago and my experience honestly speaking was really good gaming with it on stream it was very comfortable i really don't even like to use wrist rests like that but i did enjoy using this one honestly i released it they honestly i wish that they released a pink one and a blue one to match the desk pad this is the alex Zotos v1 desk pad from odin gaming as well that i purchased a while ago i want to say a little bit more than a year ago maybe maybe around a year ago but this one is absolutely sick i wish that they would have released a blue one to match this but uh this color is actually black and um this doesn't look black this is more like a brown coming from a brown guy i don't know um I'm really I'm not too sure what what was going on with this one. This is not black. This is definitely brown. So if I was going to get a wrist rest, honestly speaking, I would go for the pink one because this is not black. But the uh, only other complaint that I have about the wrist rest is just the fact that I see that they went for like a stealth logo, but it looks a little bit stretched and I would just rather have like the full white logo than like, you know, like perfectly centered on, you know, the side of the wrist rest, because I feel like that would just make it look a little bit more higher quality. They are only $25. And if you would like to use a wrist rest, the typing angle on this one, it's not like super tall or anything. So you can definitely get away with using it without a wrist rest, but using it with one is definitely doable. And it is a pretty good experience. And it does keep your palms very cool while you game. What is my final verdict on the Nova 65? So with this keyboard and the aluminum plate at $160, honestly speaking, I think it's a really good deal. I mean, you get Durox stabilizer stock, stock without any mods, no tape mining, no polyfill, no nothing, no extra money that you have to spend for it to sound this good. It's very impressive. It is really impressive. I mean, I have a GMK Pro about my own money so the gmk pro 70 bucks right i hated the way that it sounded stock because those stock stabilizers the ghost steps those are trash i mean they, they could have easily partnered with Durock. they could have easily done that but they didn't they use ghost steps yet again garbage absolute garbage the aluminum plate 
at least on the one that I got, really did not work that well with the Duroc stabilizers that I purchased, you know, $22 plus shipping, blah, blah, but I digress. Anyways, the aluminum plate that I got with my GMK Pro did not work that great with Duroc V2 stabilizers. So uh, I had to go ahead and spend more money and get the polycarbonate plate. I didn't really love the sound of the GMK Pro with the polycarbonate plate though. So I actually ended up going and spending more money and getting an FR4 plate, which I definitely feel like enhanced the sound of that keyboard and it sounded much better. But at this point, I've already spent so much money on stabilizers, on a new plate, then I tape modded it and also added PE foam for it to sound good. And now I'm like $300 deep into this keyboard that's like $170, which don't get me wrong, GMK Pro is nice. They say it's a gasket mount, but it's not really a gasket mount because it doesn't move because with all those mods, it has like no movement, even without the mask, it still doesn't move that much. So with that being said, I mean, in comparison, when I look at the dollars that I spent on my GMK Pro compared to $160 plus shipping, so let's say $170 for a Nova 65, right? It just seems like a much better deal and the small inconveniences are really not that big of a deal. Like the hole and also the underglow RGB, I mean, looking at the dollars and cents, I'm spending at least $100 less to get a better experience in terms of typing and gaming feel, and it's a 65%, and I don't really love 75%, it's like they're okay, but I prefer 65. So with all that being said, the Nova 65 really starts to look like a much better deal for the price and what you get. If I was to pick between the two, I would get the Nova because of the 65%, and the fact that I don't have to spend a million dollars for it to sound good. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well. Again, a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, FlexiSpot. Be sure to check out their Black Friday sale that I will have links in the description below. And also to use my code at Odin Gaming Too Much Tech to support the channel. But yeah, if you guys decide to pick one up, let me know what accessories you guys got. Like if you are gonna go for the polycarbonate plate and get that super flexible typing experience i will be doing a build stream this weekend with uh, a couple other nova 65s with the polycarbonate plate and the aluminum plate to do a little bit of a comparison as well live on stream so be sure to check me out on twitch but thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video